Hey, my name is Kevin, and I'm going to be teaching you how to drive manual. First of all, you need a manual car. We have a manual car right here. It's not much to drive a stick. It's like driving an automatic car. You get in, you make sure it's in uh, neutral. Put it in neutral, like a little shake. When you put it in neutral, it shakes. In gear, it doesn't shake. Once you're in neutral, you press down on the clutch, the third pedal to the left, which is the clutch. And you start it. That's the first step. For step two, well, before you even get in the car, you want to get comfortable with shifting. So you press down on the clutch and you always hold the clutch down when you're wanting to put it in gear. Because if you don't, then you're just grinding. You're grinding the gear and you're just fucking up the clutch. You hold the clutch first, then straight down and left is second, straight up, and the middle is third, fourth, fifth. It's like a little like puzzle. It's just one, two, three. So that's that's just you get comfortable with it, get comfortable on like this. Just get comfortable putting it in gear. And that's pretty much step two. Okay. Step three. So to get the car rolling, uh you just press down on the clutch, the third pedal, and you hold the brake. Then you put the car in first gear. Then when you on the clutch, you slowly let go of the clutch. Slowly let go of it. You slowly let go of it and then give it some gas so you go forward. So I'm gonna run back on that. Just to run through again, you uh, put it in first, slowly let off the clutch. There's a bite point on the clutch that um, that you feel. So you slowly let go, give it a little gas, like feather it, and then you let go of the clutch fully and then you start moving. Okay, so you, so if my foot, my foot starts where? On the clutch. You, well, your foot's on the brake because you're on a hill. We're on a hill right now. So the, since the car is a manual car and it's in neutral, uh -huh. the car will roll back. So left foot is on the? On the clutch. Right foot is on the? the brake. Then you put it in first with your hands and with your foot on the clutch. Mm -hmm. And you slowly let off and give it a little gas. It's like, it's a fine little balance. So like you're pressing on the clutch, your right foot's on the gas. So you slowly let go of the clutch and you slowly give it gas and then there's like a little middle part that you reach and that's when you let go of the clutch and then you start driving. So, nice. So right now I'm like doing the meet, I'm like getting it comfortable. And, yeah. and now we're driving. And then when you're driving, it's the same concept. We're, we're in first gear. You can't last in first gear. So you shift, you press down the clutch Put it in second and then you let go and then you start driving again nice. and when you're coming at the light you press down on the clutch put it in neutral boom now you're stopped so to stop you put down you press the clutch and then you put it in neutral yeah you press the clutch and now we're taking off we do the same balancing motion and uh yeah we're driving and then points are our first first and second because in the city you're constantly in stop and go traffic you're not on the highway that's like if you were in north carolina on the highway you just need to go in first and then you'd be driving on the highway but over here we have to stop at the light put it in neutral put it in first again take off put it in neutral so it's a it's a constant workout on your legs right so i bet your caps are super yeah, super fucking brawling <laughs> We can actually just fade into the crib right now. Ma'am, spare coochie. Excuse me, ma'am. Spare coochie, ma'am. Glad I didn't say that. Huh? <laughs>
women. They're all women that dress like this. <laughs> if you look like you, if this the swag, no. In the, in the swag, <laughs> not the swag. Yeah, we got a sequin doggy leash for a fake poodle on your kneecap. <laughs> right on the knee, right there, look. Alright, so how was the how was uh the ramen? The ramen was pretty good. My ramen is gone. And it was tasty. We had some spices and the chopsticks. Very valid chopsticks, you see. Yeah, I'm taking this for sure. <laughs> but nah. I rate my ramen. It's a it's uh it's a eight it's uh it's a eight it's an eight out of ten. Okay, okay. It's an eight out of ten. Cause we gotta leave some more. Bro. It wasn't like undeniable, you know. Guys, do you guys feel the air through the camera? Do you feel it? <laughs> do you feel the money? <laughs> do you feel the money? <laughs> Alright, so boom, me and Brittany, we have the San Gennaro first, right? We're like, we walk through. And we start, or we look around, we see this. I'm like, oh, let's get one, right? And then the lady tells us it's cash only. I only had ten dollars. Brittany and I have no cash, so we like, let's go to Chase. We go to Chase, and there's a line to go inside of Chase, right? But it's not because Chase is necessarily busy or there's a lot of people. It's because the security guard is making people go in two at a time. I think Brittany might have asked while I was inside. She might have asked like. Oh, why is there a line? He said that he got a notification that a chase nearby got robbed. This was my real life reaction. Because <laughs> when I was walking over here, I shit you not, two Secret Service cars drive past me, bro, and they had their windows down. And me and me and one of the him, he, one of the guys, was, he he had blonde hair. He was looking out the window. He was like, like he knew he was running with gang, like, and he was he's lit. He's outside. They they about to go get the job done for me. We lock eyes. I'm like, so now that this guy, the security guard, is telling me that the chase got robbed, like, that's crazy, bro. But he said, I gotta protect the people. I gotta protect the people. And honestly, that that's the type of energy we need everywhere he's a chase security guard he don't gotta go too hard but he cares for the people and that's real and shout out to him shout out to all the security guards that are really out here making a difference oh dear yeah 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 i know that's right i know that's right Cortez. His name is Cortez. Yo, Cortez, where are you from? Speak to the camera. Speak to the I'm camera. from Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. Alright, so, yo, pull up, pull up, pull up. I'm listening, I'm listening. Yo, what you like to eat? What type of food you be eating? Um, Mexican food. Alright, so what's, what's, the, what's the number one meal in all of Mexican cuisine? Um, definitely tamales. Oh, tamales. What, what you know about tamales? Um, what do I not know about them? What's your favorite type of tamale? You be having uh, raisins? You be eating raisins? raisins? No, no, no. <laughs> no raisins in the nah, tamale? That's like the that's like the old people like type of stuff. <laughs> that's the ones you be having at the church. Yeah. With the like, exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's like that's like not the spicy ones. Those aren't the good ones. Yeah. You be eating churros? Um. Why do you guys say it like that though? Because that's how I say it. Yeah, but I don't know. It's just. Because yeah, I'm thinking about church. They be selling it in front of church. In yeah. front of my church, they be having the churros with the tamales. Yeah, I, I do. I do be eating them. Yeah, me too. Good. I love churros. Stop, stop gentrifying churros. Exactly. Stop gentrifying churros. Yeah, you saw, the, you saw the spot we just passed? <laughs> 